the new AMG 53 series, the E53, the E53 Cabriolet, and of course the CLS 53 AMG. I mean, what is up with Mercedes? What is up with AMG? Why they have done this? Why they have took the E43, added a tiny electric motor, which has less horsepower than my electric food blender, uh, and I added it in the car, and then they made it, yes, it's hybrid. I know it has 183 torque, feet of torque, and whatever that, yeah. But really, the whole new car and everything is just an E43 with a tiny electric engine. Probably the size of this car. Yes, I know it's the first step towards future and hybrid and blah, 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 which I don't like because hybrid is boring and... It's not boring, I mean, it's, it's tunnel boring. That's what Tesla calls themselves. Tesla calls themselves tunnel boring. And yes, future is tunnel boring, but not really boring as much because you put your feet down and then the torque kicks in and then you're off. But really, the E53 is 0.1 second faster than the E43 in 0 to 60 kilo time. So all that for 1.1 second, but like, yeah, I get it with the whole, it's, it's not about all the 0 to 60 time, but I know and everything. However, as much as I hate to say this, I don't hate to say I like an electric, but I, don't, I mean, I kind of dislike the whole AMG being hybrid thing. But I like the E53 because of one, one, one and only one thing. They have gotten rid of, got rid of whatever. The, the fake exhaust is not there. Boom, that's it. There you have it. They've heard our voice. Yes. The fake exhaust is gone, and for that, thank you, AMG. Highly appreciate, much appreciated, everything appreciated, a lot. Hit us with something better next time, please. Okay, thank you.